It is the Daily Drawing Club Live. I'm DJ Kaufman, cartoonist for a long time. Here today with the Daily Drawing Club. What we do is we do a daily drawing challenge every morning, 7 a.m. Our tips and advice as I draw. So if you're watching in a replay and you want any kind of tips or questions, just throw them in the throw them in the comments and I'll get back to them in the next streams. Always check our stream schedule for upcoming streams and um, uh, all that, you know. Today's question is how I work out the schedule for web comics and how far in advance we work and how I live stream and all that stuff. That's a big question, but I think I'll be able to answer that uh, a little bit. And we have a today's drawing challenge. Today's drawing challenge is, one second, let me change my music up here. And sorry guys, in the chat, I scheduled the stream for next Tuesday. <laughs> so you, you might have been like, where is the uh, where's the stream? So uh, glad you, I figured you might figure it out. So again, the question this morning is, <clears throat> and it came from one of the club members, how I work out the schedule for web comics and how do we stay in advance? So how do I do that? How might you do that? Um, yeah, keep us on our toes, right? <laughs> Live stream and the live stream balance of how I'm doing that. Today is drawing challenge. I'm gonna do this a little bit differently today, I thought. So let's just turn this off and see what it is. It's a dice challenge. So these prompts come out at 5 a.m. every morning to the Daily Drawing Club. The Daily Drawing Club, there's members of it in the chat right now. Um, you get some perks, you get a quarterly sticker that only Daily Drawing Club members get, but we do fun things like this occasionally. So this is a dice challenge. You can roll a dice. You can find the uh, Google dice that are out there for free. But today, what I'm going to do is let's just go to this view. So what do we got here? I'm going to roll a dice. Set this iPad down. Never done this before. So let's, let's try this view here. All right, it's a one and it's a chupa, uh, what was it? A happy chupacabra, happy, right? Happy chupacabra. And okay, you know, you can also cheat and just draw whatever you like, but I'm gonna follow the rules. I'm gonna draw a happy chupacabra and I'm gonna draw it here in this draw everyday notebook available on our website. And again, it's just a uh, look like a little quote in there. Always remember who you wanted to be before the world told you to be somebody else. Sometimes I put little quotes in there just to remind myself too. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna set this up so that I can get a little more over top of it. Let's say, all right, zoom in on the camera a little bit. Happy Chupacabra is the is my prompt of the day. Well, that's a that's a good. Yeah, and so I'm not really going to overthink it too much. I don't even know what a chupacabra works looks like. So I'm just going to, no one knows. So I'm just going to make it up. Um, let's just write happy. Happy chupacabra. Actually, the lighting makes it worse. All right, there we go. Happy chupacabra. Set my timer also for 30 minutes. Happy. Chupa Cabra. Someone was asking if I draw only on iPad and I'm like, no, I, I do doodle in my my field notes and sketchbooks and stuff like that. Actually, I'm going to reposition this a little bit. Let's go a little closer to me. Yeah, so, <clears throat> so when I start these prompts, of course, I don't know what a Chupa Cabra looks like. I'm just going to have some fun with that. I'm going to probably just focus on this side of the page. Sometimes I'll do like a big, big thing. So I'm going to zoom in a little, zoom in a little bit more. Boy, this iPhone camera is pretty amazing. You can even see my really bad pants. 
I'm not getting a menu here or anything. Yet. All right, let's just get in here. So he's a happy chupacabra. So I'm just going to start with a body shape like that and kind of just figure it out. Like, I don't know. Again, I don't know what a chupacabra looks like. So I think they're kind of like a dog, kind of like a, you know, I'm going to go with that. Kind of like a dog. You know, but like an elongated dog. I've watched a lot of those those shows, right? Those um, paranormal caught on, you know, caught on film shows. So I need some weird things. I'm just going to sketch out the the basic outline. I'll just come out a little bit. Now we're going to lower it. There we go. Let's throw this coin over here. Okay. Always have a lot of coins handy. Okay. Let's see. Happy Chupacabra. So I'm just going to kind of fill in this face. First of all, I don't know why he's happy. And again, this could be for guys. I don't care what level of art you're in. Drawing like a silly prompt like this is just a good exercise, especially to do in the morning. So draw early, draw often. First, I'm gonna get this happy expression out of the way here. Figure that out. And then I don't know if he's I'm gonna figure out a chupacabra. Kind of dog, dog shape. I want it to be kind of wild looking. Probably a snout. Let's, let's give him. You know, I'm gonna go with the idea that he's like a kind of a hairless dog, with a weird nose. But it's just kind of nice to uh, stretch your muscles a little bit. Of course, I'm using my little tiny. Almost never done Blackwing pencil. <laughs> Not a sponsorship. Just I like the natural pencils. I also sometimes use the, uh, well, a lot of times use the uh, 602s. And I try to draw them, draw with them until they're you know, nothing left. Right. A little dice in there too. There we go. Maybe that'll be a good thumbnail. About that. So Chupacabra, Happy Chupacabra was what I rolled. Yeah. And today's question, I'll get to it a little bit. We'll jump to it and I'll finish the whole question if we go a little bit longer. But I probably won't take a half an hour to draw this, you know? Like, I'm gonna, I would already kind of be jamming on this. So I kind of want some weird claws though first and I don't know why he's happy but it's something it's something that he's got there so I'll just think about that while I'm you know maybe I'll take some uh, some suggestions from the chat as to what this could be what what is he happy about having there could be bagels um yeah let me turn down this music too just a little bit Do a little ASMR, like that feeling, that sound of like, you know, just something satisfying about that. You don't get on like an iPad, you know, might not pick it up there. Let's draw like a really gnarly, he's got like, like, you ever seen those like toenails that. grow and like turn into like curls like maybe his back feet are that for some reason and then he'll have like a weird spine every time I've and I'm just trying to recall like every time I've seen those shows it's usually like it had a weird it was like a skinless dog with a weird tail you know 
if anybody has an actual picture of a chupacabra, then, you know, video evidence, then you can share it with me. But says this is a fantastical beast. I, I don't know. Like maybe it's got some spots here. This is something that I would work out, you know, later. Right. Maybe as a tattoo. I don't know. You know, maybe we get a little bit more facial design or like what he's looking like and just give a little pencil pencil effects on those eyes it's really just about you know having some fun exploring what i normally i would not have drawn a chupacabra today and that's kind of the cool thing about those prompts all right what is he eating anyone say in the chat all right let's see oh hyped up on sugar or goat's blood okay coffee would be too easy and it's chupacabra so it's kind of a mexican it's kind of a mexican monster right so i think he's gonna have some like breakfast tacos Oh yeah, got it. So I just kind of go with this, you know, I'm going to keep it safe for, for YouTube, but maybe like, <laughs> you'll you understand in a minute, you know, maybe it's like a hand in there and tacos. Delicious arm talk, arm, arm tacos. And again, like, you could be a fantasy painter or something, right? I really want to stress cartooning <laughs> to people. Um, you can all be serious artists as well. There's, there's room for all of that. But I think cartooning is this fundamental thing where you're stretching your imagination, you know? These claws don't have to be perfect. You can mess around with these toenails, right? It's a pretty happy chupacabra. Like I could be done right now. I could be less than 10 minutes. There's a happy chupacabra, but you know, you start to feel it after you've drawn a little bit and maybe you want to like happy, happy chupacabra hand tacos. You know, and then your brain might start thinking like, what's the logo? Maybe this is the logo of hand tacos, you know, like, uh, <clears throat> thank you, Barry. Barry says that cartooning is the highest form of art. Well, that's going to be arguable amongst some people, but not in this group. <laughs> Goat flavored churros. All right. Then I might just clean up a little bit of the, the sketch, just a little bit of the sketch lines there. You know, if I had anything else laying around, I might, I don't have anything within reach, but if I had a little marker or something, you know, it's a chance to like, just take 10 minutes, 15 minutes in the morning. Of course, if you can't draw, well, that's a problem. So, uh, but that's okay too. It's a good problem to have because there's plenty of stuff to watch here on YouTube. You know, take 10 minutes, learn some fundamentals, all these things like, you know, I could pretty much draw anything, at least an imaginative, but it's only because I know those, you know, it's only because I know, like I got this other one here where I'm doing like the learn to draw in seconds. I want to do more shorts like this for people that aren't artists, you know, like that one I did where it's like, just draw these shapes make a grid and then start to think about them like curving like artists start to see the, those shapes and then do that like a thousand times and you know that's why when I started this drawing if you rewind I started with like a and you artists know this but I started with this this shape of the chupacabra's body there right how to draw a chupacabra should be the title of this video after the stream yeah, when I'm done with these streams, usually for like 20 minutes or so, I, I might 
try to like rewatch real fast and um see there i'm just kind of showing people for context what i might see you know like the tube like a tube there like a cylinder there a funnel here and now we've got this is funny you know kind of like roasted roasted chupacabra Del chupacabra tacos right just erase this a little bit it's handy dandy also apologies for any kind of like cat hair this peach loves to come up on this desk and steal all these post-it notes i can't I just can't have a cat. She knocked everything down this morning. Although it's adorable because she'll steal a post-it note off my desk like this. And she'll kind of crinkle it up. And then she'll run downstairs and bring it to Alicia. And then Alicia will unfold it. Like, let's see what message Peach is bringing us today. And I, I can never, I can never record it, guys. It would be great. All right, cool. So I'm going to, you know, now I'm like, this is like a platter of roasted chupacabra now. All right, I never would have dreamt this up this morning, but now I feel like, honestly, and it sounds like joking, but like I'm going to have a much better day today because, well, I don't have bad days, but really, you know, they're all days. Um, but if I were to have like a bad day today, I'm going to be like, go into this happy place where I drew a, a roasted chupacabra today. Um, right. Not bad. It's not a bad little cartoon. He's having a hand taco. That's why he's a happy cover just as a reminder for those who are joining late today's drawing prompt was a dice challenge and i rolled number one but you can choose any of these any of these wonderful prompts i was hoping to get werewolf cowboy or carl from accounting has a secret I feel like anyone, any one of these could be something. If we look real quick, I think um, I'm going to guess Steph. Yep. Steph's already done hers. She's usually doing hers at, well, you posted 642. So she, these come out at 5 a.m. So she got evil Oompa Loompa. Great job, Steph. And hey, guys, <laughs> if you want to get your artwork in the, the Discord, <laughs> I don't think there's any more right now. She's usually the first one to go. Uh, but yeah, we've got this Discord community too. I should probably link to it in the daily um, the daily chat. Cool. I'm going to switch that up. So anyway, oh yeah, let me go back to that hand-drawn look so you can see one more time. Look at my happy chupacabra. I've done that in less than 15. 15 minutes and there's 15 minutes left on the clock. So again, like I could just stop there, close this up, you know, weigh it down so it doesn't open up, throw all that stuff on there, and then just get back to other stuff. Life, right? So that was that was the drawing prompt of the day. Those are always fun to do. Maybe we should just do those every day. I don't know. It's really fun to do. Okay. Next up, <clears throat> that was an awesome Oompa Loompa. By the way, I watched that new Wonka movie, and it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I'm a big fan of the original Willy Wonka just because of whatever, whatever reason. All right, cool. I just want to see something real quick. What's that three up look like? Oh, that's too much, too much, too much. And this needs to just adjust real quick. Not that anybody needs to see my hands, really. I'm going to show you something. 
the question of the day was how I work out a schedule for web comics. I don't know if he's in here. I think this was from Ben in the club. Um, how I work out the schedule for web comics, how much, how far in advance am I, which is really funny. Just <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, and then I'm also live streaming. So how do I balance that? That was the question. Um, and to do that, I kind of want to say, just go back to, uh, to this view. Um, okay. So I'm going to jump right into that without showing you too much background information. We are working ahead. So right now, um, it's not um, not incredibly ideal. This, the, but I have a full team at Be Friends helping along the way. So we are working way far in advance. So please don't judge anything that I'm doing for what you should do. And I'll give you some tips on maybe what you should think about for if you're launching a webcomic or how far should you be in advance or you know you probably have other things going on like a day job like i ran web comics for years with a day job and other things and um so please don't judge anything i show you with what you should do because it's a lot um it's my full-time thing right now um so yes this is the v friends um miro board and it's giant it's gigantic and i can't zoom in too far to show you everything but I also kind of keep an archive of all the comics so far on there so I can just review them really fast. So this is just my, my behind the scenes process of how I'm doing it. I'm using Miro. Um, I like to just have this quick reference so that if I want to zoom in and go like, oh, what did that character look like? You know, I can just zoom in and see what's up. Um, as far as staying ahead, you know, we're working way ahead on these are all the topics that we talk about inside of vFriends. And this is a brainstorming board so the team can have access to it and you know drop different just a different idea on there for me to think about or for the team to think about and then i drop my own ideas over here i've got my little corner um where you know i don't know let's just zoom in on this you know cowboy why did people do bad things oh boy that's complicated like this is just me writing it out it might not fit right now but you can see i'm doing a lot of like ideation work we're working on different topics um, but this is a daily schedule this is pretty intense um we have an inspiration zone of like gary's old comics that he's put up um and then some gary inspired ideas and then the real trick that i do is and i'm going to show you a, a calendar that's already done so we actually put it on the calendar when the strips go up and you can see that I've been placing a ribbon on the ones that become like winners too, just cause I want to track, like we're tracking like what works, what not. Um, so you can see here, like um, this was OG Ox putting a lady, putting a guy in the trash can in the airport. That was a hit. Um, sometimes I'll leave little count like marks for myself. Um, the color codes kind of get a little whack. I'm just a little crazy like that. But I keep a lot of blank spare notes there. And then I write some Sundays out this way. But you don't have to have Miro. It's there's a free version of it. But you don't have to do this my way. I'm just showing you that like there's a calendar for daily comics that you want to to see. Yeah, Sarah with an H. Um Sarah without an H, sorry, Sarah. Um she said this is very helpful. She has a board like this that I showed her how to use. Um, and it does keep everything in one spot and you can see when you said like, how far in advance am I right now? I'm not too far in advance, but we have, um, you know, for me, I'm working today. I'll draw tomorrow strip, but that's on purpose just in case there's any kind of like breaking stuff. And then I want to get about for the V friends. I want to get to about two weeks ahead of the dailies. So we're, we're working to get there and we've got a different strategy that I can't really talk about, but you can see like, it's just going to be, you know, this is a daily comic strip. Now, what would I suggest for somebody out there starting a web comic? And like, we also have Barry in the chat. He's been doing his web comic for, you know, ages. I'm sorry to call it a web comic, Barry, but you know, it's a comic, it's a comic, but we'll just online. I was going to call it a web comic. Um, you know, if you're just starting out and this is what I told Sarah too, was, you know, don't think of, um, you know, think of just doing like once a week 
pick a day, one comic, right? Um, one comic a week. Pick a day and stay consistent. So pick a day. Pick a day. Stay consistent. On that day and that time. Stay consistent. Okay. Um, I think it, it all depends on what you want to accomplish. If you're looking to build an audience, I don't feel like um, once a week is enough. It's like a slow growth thing, right? You need to have, there's a whole other thing. We're just talking about schedule because that was the, that was the, the, um, that was the question, right? So I'm going to get back to this question. There's a whole deeper thing. I could just rant about this all day. This is my passion, but, but I, but personally, I think one comic a week is too, too little to grow. Um, an ideal, um, an ideal schedule that I stuck to for years was Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because you're getting people in the beginning of the week, the middle of the week and the end of the week. Um, and so in order to do that, you know, whatever your comic is based on. And again, that's a whole other topic because you could be putting on a comic that no one gives a crap about. Um, if you hit the right topic and you're just consistent Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you will build an audience up, especially if you're tagging and, and t speaking to that audience directly, not other artists, your, or your, your audience is not other artists. That's a big, it can be, but it's not other artists. Like you want to find that broad range of people, you know, your Garfield, your people that watch sci-fi channels. So think about that when you're doing your kind of marketing for your comic think, Just think about that. Um, what else with that? Oh, live stream balance. So one of the things that I do that I figured out is just changing your perspective because a lot of artists are like, um, a lot of artists are thinking, well, I'm going to go try and find my framework here because there's, there's some frameworks I do. Creator blocks. Framework, no. Frameworks. Come on. Frameworks. It's got to be in here. Da, 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 da. Let's go here. Sorry, guys. Let me just find it. I know it's in here, right? You can look at the video online too for the pillars exercise. Like figuring out your pillars will help you with your comic. That's on the web. That's on the website or on the YouTube channel here. Maybe I'll link to that. Um, live stream setup let's go let's go where was it oh man i don't know what did i do guys i've lost it i have too many things i know i gotta have something in here for it anyways is it this? No, I'm just coasting around. Wow, you guys are all just going to bail on me. Or you're just like spying through. Look at all this artwork I have in here. This is, I need to back this up too. It could actually be in the V Friends folder. Now that I'm thinking about it, in one of these V Friends folders because I had a version of it. Probably down at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, anyways. You know, this is what we're doing at V Friends. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And like, hopefully we'll do some quarterly trades, create events, and we'll be bigger than Garfield and stuff on Friday. That's the wrong, wrong um, thing. Okay. Let me reset this this question here live stream balance so some people say that it's too much time right so all i can say is to that is like reframe your perspective of time so when i had a day job i was on meetings i still have a day job it's drawing comics but um 
when I was on the like the more corporate world, I had meetings all the time, like video meetings, constantly one hour meetings, back to back to back to back to back. And I just kept thinking to myself like, wow, imagine if this meeting was, it's, I'm just having a meeting with you right now, like you guys watching this. So imagine if that was your stream. So setting up the equipment that I needed and it wasn't always like nicer, right? It's not the best right now, which is a little bit of lighting, a little bit of cameras and a little button that I could push to go live while I'm drawing. And then I also mix that with, you know, um, deep work, like the idea of, this is a great book to read, by the way, Cal Newport. You can get a lot of it for free online, like the, the concept of it, but it's really, there's some really deep stuff in here. I even take little notes on the books I read um, as well. Just because I feel like when you read it, you might get some sort of context that's not like the, the snippets online. Um, and those are 90 minute blocks for a reason. Um, 90. Because it takes you about 20 minutes, 20 minutes to get in the flow, 20 to 30 minutes, maybe half an hour. And then you got a full hour of rocking and rolling. You know, I'm kind of in that zone right now. We've gone for half an hour. I could keep going. I could keep going for another hour talking about all this. Um, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll answer this question too. Do I have a quick way to back up my procreate art? I, I did find one. Yes. I just haven't done it cause I'm lazy, I guess, or I'm just no, not lazy, but, um, so 20, 30, 20 to minutes to, to 30 minutes to get into that flow. And then you have 60 minutes of solid streaming. And what I'm doing in the streams, you know, that's how minutes is spelled guys. Um, I'm just literally pointing my camera down or sharing the iPad here. I've taught myself some OBS. So like things that I was missing, I would add things that I needed. Like I was like, wait, I need, I need this to be able to switch from this view to that view to keep it a little more interesting. So I needed a stream deck. I needed, I didn't know how to do any of those things. I just learned little by little and I would do those in 90 minute blocks too. So I would say, say like, okay, I don't have time for all this. I'm super busy, but can I take 90 minutes and learn a little bit about OBS? That's the broad, the free broadcasting software, just so I can do a little more of, of this stuff. And then I'll just point my camera at what I'm working on that day. Here's today's comic that's coming out and I'll just draw and I'll talk and I'll put the little chat in front of me and I can engage with the community a little bit. Um, and it's really great for brand reach too. Like if you're working on a comic, so, um, you might look at my channel again, Ben, if you're watching this, you may have missed it. Let's just go to YouTube and go to and just search, um, future of comics, future of comics. And I have this video here, future of comics. And in this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute myself here, I think. I'm going to skip this ad, sorry, me. Uh, somewhere in this video, I have a really bad beard. That's for certain. Okay, so there I am. Somewhere in this video, and I, I talk too long. This is a 20-minute video. But I'm going to zoom to the graphic. This is a good way of finding it. So I'm going through doing a lot of, no, I didn't know what I was doing on YouTube guys. I'll show the formula here. Where is it? Guys, oh, there's the, there's the timer. Anyways, go watch this video. And it's a 20 minute, um, it's a 20 minute of me ranting about, this is the future of comics. Well, it's exactly what I'm doing right now for the V friends. So, that said, I hope you, I'm going to put those videos maybe on the end screens here for you to check out. And I'm going to call this a stream. That was good. You know, we drew the um, happy chupacabra here. Take one, one last look at this guy. Happy chupacabra and tacos. And then 
I hope you guys have a good day. Let's go back to the, the stream. What's everybody up to today? Oh, quick way to back up your art. Sorry, I'm not ending this stream. Surprise. Um, get yourself one of these guys. Where is it? Hmm, I got it over here. So I really need to. Really need to do it. Um, some kind of portable drive. This one's more of an expensive one. It will plug directly into your iPad. And then you can, um, I could kind of show, no, I can't unplug this to show you. I could unplug this to show you. So if I go like this, do that a little bit so you can see. A little bit, a little bit more. Tilt this up, right. So this just plugs directly into the side of your iPad and it should show up as a, a drive. So if I were to um, want to, I'm not going to export 89 pieces of art, but let's just say I wanted to just export anything, share JPEG or the procreate file. I can share it to save to files. And then you see my drive here, DJC YouTube. I can just save it directly into that, save, and that's it, super fast. So I believe if I wanted to, I could, and it won't do it because there's, there's not enough space on here, but I could just share this entire stack and say, I want all the Procreate files. And it's gonna take a little too long, actually. Same thing, right? You get the concept. That's the quickest way that I found to back it up. I was using the cloud to do that, but not, not ideal. <laughs> so, okay, cool. That's the stream. I'm going to put some videos on the screen here about what we talked about today. And um, hope you guys all have a good day and appreciate you joining. And I'll see you back here tomorrow, 7 a.m. I didn't show the, I didn't show the, um, the schedule, but you can probably know that it's 7 a.m. Just check the live section of my website to catch any others and i'm going to adjust those dates so that it's not next week um and uh i hope you have a good day i'm off to the drawing board here so thanks for watching guys see you soon